One of the scariest parts of growing in my relationship with Christ was not just knowing I was going to lose friends, but when I did, wondering if I'd ever have the sort of friendships and community that I saw other believers have. People didn't just walk out of my life. I walked through multiple situations where I was the one who needed to be removed. See, a lot of us won't be honest about it, but we aren't always the good guys in the stories we like to play back in our heads. I wanted to share a quick story about a time when this actually played out in my real life. My husband and I were really close with another couple. We did dinners, play dates, vacations, all the things together. While we were all believers, we also had some things in each of us that still needed some healing. The intimate nature of our relationship created this opportunity for like really, really deep connection, but it also revealed a lot that shocked me. I actually began to see wounds in my heart that had been long covered up. I began to get triggered and was finally in a place where the Lord knew I could handle the refining fire of spiritual growth that can only come through experience. Inevitably, the Holy Spirit led me to sever the relationship abruptly. And my husband was in agreement and we walked away from two people we really loved. It was not easy and it took us almost two years to view the situation with real peace. See, I don't believe I ended the relationship because of them, even if that's how it felt at the time. But honestly, it was because of me. I had done what I did many times in my past, which was to put too much reliance on people in the place of God. God had been calling me to a deeper place with him and to a deeper place with my husband that I at the time just flat out did not want to do. So I relied on this friendship to be my place of safety, of comfort, and of peace when that should have never been what I did with that relationship. Sometimes too much of a good thing can be detrimental. While there's a lot more detail to this story, this is my point. God restored that relationship once we were really ready to enter back into it from a healed place on all sides. God ended up restoring that situation and that friendship at the appropriate time. And while we aren't as close as we were at that time, all four of us have grown so much from that break. And it really showed all of us those things within us that we needed to work on as individuals and as collective, like in each of our marriages. And the lessons learned and revelations revealed during and after that time has really produced so much fruit in our lives today. While it was hard to go through, as the scripture says, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. Now, we have so many beautiful relationships with different families, different friends. And I can honestly say that those people from my past that I may have lost, I have come to a place where I forgive, I pray, and I love them from afar. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to hold anything in my heart that is unlike the Father who is pure and good and holy. Anytime I feel like I remember something that makes me feel bad or feel guilty or shame about a person or a past relationship, I repent quickly and feel forgiven because I have been forgiven for the things that I've done in the past. And that's how I resolve that fear of building new relationships in Christ. And I hope that this encourages you to do the same thing.